Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up the credentials for Google services that you want to use as nodes in your N8N automation workflows. The Google services that I'm gonna set credentials for in this tutorial are Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Calendar, and Gmail. We want to be able to use our Google services in another application, N8N. But Google just doesn't let any application use your services without getting permission. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to Google and we're going to register our connection and get permission. What is required for this tutorial? A Google or Google Workspace account, access to the Google Cloud Console, and an N8N instance or install. And this can be a self-hosted version on something like hosting your VPS, which is what I do, N8N on the cloud, or a local edition of N8N. Part one, we go to Google Cloud Console. This is a developer site by Google, very similar to Amazon's AWS, if you're familiar with that. But we go there and we say, all right, Google, I want to create an app that connects my Google services to another application. Google says, no problem, but there's a series of steps you must go through in order for me to give you that special badge or the credentials that you need to take to another application. First, we're gonna create a new project for our N8N integration with Google. Then we're gonna enable the APIs for each of the Google services that we're gonna be using in N8N. We will then configure the OAuth consent screen. It's basically telling Google, here is what my app does and who should be allowed to connect with it. After configuring the OAuth consent screen, we are then gonna publish the app. And if you do not publish the app, when you try to sign in on N8N, you are going to get an error. We then create the OAuth 2.0 credentials. These are the keys, the client ID and the secret key that we are gonna use for all of the Google services on N8N. When we go back to N8N, we use the same key or the same credentials for all of the Google services. So one client ID and one secret key is used for all of the Google services that we registered. But we must still configure or set the credentials for each of the services one by one because each of these services connect to a different API. So even though they have the blanket permission, we just need to open the doors one by one so each of the services are able to talk to their API. So what do you say? First things first, you need to get access to Google Cloud Console, which basically just means you're gonna sign up using your Google account. So open a web browser, go to console.cloud.google.com. You're gonna click try for free or in the top right corner, just click the button start free. Just choose the Google account that you want to use and just go through the sign up process. What we're doing now is basically registering N8N as an application that we want to use with our Google services. The way that we do this is by creating a project. A project on Google Console is just basically like a folder to keep everything organized for this particular integration between N8N and Google to create a new project. You're gonna click on the project picker or use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control O. Go in the top right corner and click New Project. Give your project a name. I'm gonna call mine N8N Integration. Click Create. You'll see in the top there's notifications being developed. We're gonna go ahead and click on Select Project. Notice I'm at Mike Murphy CO right now. I'm gonna click Select Project and that's gonna change into the new project that we just created, N8N integration. So step two, we need to enable the APIs for each of the Google services that we are gonna be using in N8N. Each of the Google services, so Drive, Docs, Gmail, Calendar, etc. They all have their own API or application programming interface. This is basically a doorway that allows it to be able to talk to external or outside applications. So by default, to keep the application secure, the doors or the APIs are closed. So what we're gonna do is enable 
or open the doors for the APIs for each of the Google services that we want to use. That way, by having the door open, N8N is going to be able to talk to those services. To enable the APIs for each of the Google services, we're going to click on the hamburger menu in the top left corner of those three horizontal lines. Go to APIs and Services, click on Library. You can do a search for each of them. If I'm going to scroll down a little bit, go to Google Workspace. I'll click View All. So I'm going to use Gmail API, Google Drive API, Google Calendar API, Google Sheets API, and Google Docs API. What I'm going to do is just open each of these in their own tab in my browser. That way I can just go through each tab one by one. So I'm going to press and hold the Command key on a Mac, Control on Windows, and just click. That'll open up in its own tab in Google Chrome or any browser that you're using. So I'll click on Google Drive API, opens up in its own tab. I'm going to use the Google Calendar API, so I'll click that. I'm going to click on Google Sheets API. Remember, I have my hand on my Command key on my Mac. Then I'm just going to click on Google Docs. So I have five open. I'm going to go through these one by one. A little keyboard shortcut for Chrome. If you press Command and the number, so Command 2 is going to jump me to Tab 2. Command 3, Command 4, 5, 6. I'll go back to 2. That's where my Gmail is. All you have to do is just click on enable. That is going to enable or open the door. Just give it a second. I'm going to go to command three, Google Drive. I'm going to enable. I'm going to jump to the other one. And I'm going to go through these really fast. Just click enable. Give it a few seconds. Go on to the next tab. Click enable until you have enabled all of the APIs for the Google services that you want to use in N8N. Step three. Configure the OAuth consent screen. Here is what my app does, and here is who should be allowed to connect with it. And in case you're wondering what OAuth is, OAuth is a security system that allows you to connect apps without having to hand over the passwords of the apps. So basically, N8N is going to be able to talk to Google, but Google doesn't have to give over its passwords. OAuth is going to create this temporary key which basically acts as a password without having to share your passwords. To configure the OAuth consent screen, we're going to go back to the hamburger menu in the top left corner, go back to APIs and services, only this time we're going to select OAuth consent screen. First, you're going to click on get started. It is now time to name the N8N app that we are registering with Google Cloud Console inside of our new project. I'm going to call mine N8N Automation. Now just select your email from the dropdown. Click Next. Choose Internal if you are a Google Workspace organization and you have to limit the users to only users in your organization. In most cases, you'll probably want to check External. That is what I'm going to do. Click Next to add contact information, and you can put any email address you want associated with this project. Now click Next. Select to agree, then click Continue. Then click Create. The OAuth configuration has been created. In Step 4, we're going to publish the N8N app. If you do not publish the app, when you return to N8N and try to sign into Google, you are going to get an error message. So we're publishing the app, and do not worry, you're not making anything public. By publishing the app, you're just activating the app so it is ready to use in N8N. To publish the app, you're going to go to the Audience tab in the sidebar, click on Publish App, Push to production. Don't worry, you're not going public. You're just activating the app. We're going to click confirm. The app is published. If you change your mind, you get cold feet, you can always go back to testing, but we're going to keep it just as is. In step five, we create the OAuth 2.0 credentials. This is where we get the keys to the castle. The keys or the credentials are made up of two parts. The client ID, which is public, this is like the username, and the client secret. The secret acts like a password, and you never want to share the client secret. In order to get the keys, we need to add something called a redirect URI. And we're going to get this redirect URI on N8N. 
on N8N when you click sign in with Google. Google needs to know where to send you back to after you approve the connection. The redirect URI is N8N's address where Google says, okay, they approved. Here is the access to create the OAuth 2.0 credentials. In the sidebar, go to clients. At the top, click create client and choose the application type. We're gonna select web application. If you are using a local version of N8N, you'll wanna choose desktop app. Otherwise, choose web application if you are on the self-hosted version or the cloud version of N8N. Enter a name for the client ID. I'm gonna call mine N8N client. Now we're gonna add those redirect URIs and we're gonna find those on N8N. Back in N8N, I can click on any one of these Google services, but I'm just gonna click on Google Drive trigger here. Let's double click to open it up. I go to credential connect with, click, choose create new credential, and there is the OAuth redirect URL that we need. All you have to do is click in the field to copy it to your clipboard. Now we'll go back to our client ID, go to add URI, click, paste in the URL, and click create. The OAuth client has been created. Congratulations. The alert message that you see in the pop-up is very important. It is telling you that once you close the dialog box, you will no longer be able to view or download the client secret. And you need this client secret because you're gonna be pasting it in all of the Google services on N8N. So right now, you need to copy the client secret and paste it somewhere, hopefully in somewhere secure like 1Password or another password manager, or click on the download JSON to download the password and have it in a file. And if you didn't read the message and you closed down the dialog box before you copied the client secret, don't worry, you can click to add a new secret. So you see here, viewing and downloading are no longer available. So if you lost the secret, please add a new one. And remember, store client secrets securely and treat them with extreme care. So do not expose your client secret. And if for some reason you did lose it or didn't save it, you just click add secret. We did the heavy lifting in part one. We're on the home stretch going into part two where we go to N8N and we're gonna give N8N our OAuth 2.0 credentials to actually make the connection from N8N to Google. And we just need to set up each Google service by giving them the keys, the client ID and the client secret. I have the client ID copied to my clipboard. I'm gonna go into N8N where I still have the credentials open. I'm just gonna click in the client ID field and paste in the client ID. I saved the client ID and the client secret in one password. So I'm just gonna copy the client secret. I'm gonna paste it in the client secret field on N8N. I'm gonna click save. I'll click sign in with Google. This is where the redirect URI is gonna come into play. Choose the Google account that you used in Google Cloud Console. I'll click allow. Connection successful. Boom. You're just gonna repeat this process until you add the client ID and the client secret or the keys, the credentials, to each of the Google services where you enable the APIs in Google Cloud. So I'll do another one just so you can see the process. I'll go to click, create new credential. I'm gonna bring up one password, copy my client ID, paste it in the client ID field. I'll go to client secret, click to copy, client secret, paste. The sign in with Google automatically appears after you add the secret. I'll click sign in with Google. Choose my email that I set up with. Go to the bottom, click allow, account connected. And close, go back to the canvas. At, either add or click on one of the Google services where you've enabled the APIs in Google Cloud, but you haven't yet set the credential. Create the new credential. 
paste in the client ID and paste in the client secret. Click the button, sign in with Google, select your email address that you used in Google Cloud, click allow, and just repeat for every Google service. We have set the credentials by giving the keys, the client ID and the client secret to all five of the Google services that we enable the APIs for on Google Cloud Console. How do you know that N8N is actually talking to Google? Well, if you just open up any one of the nodes and you see things that are on your Google Drive or in your Google Docs. So if I just open up Google Drive here, sure enough, this is my Google Drive. And if I go back to Canvas, notice the exclamation marks are gone as soon as you make some changes to those nodes. What do you do if you forgot to add a Google service or maybe in the future you decide, you know what, I'd really like to use Google Tasks in my NNN workflow, but I didn't set the credentials. Can I do it after I did all the other ones? Absolutely. So let's just go here. I'll do a search for Google Tasks. Create new credential. So I'll put paste in the client ID, paste in the client secret, which I have saved in one password. I'll click sign in with Google. I'll do it just like I did all the others. Click allow. Connection connected, so everything looks good, right? Notice we see here error fetching options from Google Tasks. Here is what's going on. The Google Tasks node in NADN has the keys for the correct credentials in order to connect with Google. But the reason we're getting this error fetching options from Google Tasks is because when NADN tries to talk to Google Tasks, well, Google Task door is closed. To open the door of Google Tasks so we can then use it in NADN, we just need to enable the API key. So to do that, we're gonna go back to Google Cloud, click the hamburger menu in the top left corner, go to APIs and Services, go to Library, I'll just do a search for tasks, click to open that, click enable to enable the API for Google Tasks API. The Google Tasks API is now enabled. If you ever want to disable it, you'll see at the top, you can disable an API key anytime. Go back to NADN, go back into it. Now I'm gonna have my tasks and my Google services, bingo. And that is how you set Google, and that is how you set the credentials for Google services on NADN using the Google Cloud Console platform. My name is Mike Murphy, your AI handyman. Cheers.